Hello everyone, how are you? Don't mind the voice, I've got a bit of the sniffles. <laughs> First off, I hope you all had a super-tacular Christmas. Is super-tacular a word? It is now. I hope you got some awesome presents and ate some amazing food. I certainly did, although it nearly ended in disaster because the oven broke right in the middle of making Christmas dinner. Ugh. But we managed to rescue the situation. Thank the Lord. I can't have Christmas without my mum's roast potatoes. I'm sorry, it's just not happening. Anyway, Christmas aside, I've been thinking that 2015 has been a year of ups and downs for me, but I feel like I've done a decent amount of developing as a person and I've also had some really great experiences that I'll never forget. While we're on that subject, I have to say a massive thank you to every single one of you who has subscribed to this channel and my band's channel, GS1.0. You guys are pretty much the reason that my best experiences of 2015 even happened because not only have you been opening up and chatting in the comments, but also you've shown me the greatest amount of support that I've had on YouTube so far and I am massively grateful for that. And everyone who supports my band GS1.0, you guys rock because this year we finally started getting recognised on the internet and then thanks to that we ended up getting hired for a bunch of anime conventions including London Anime Con and Doki Doki which were some of the best adventures we've had as a band so far. 2016's not even started yet and we're already booked for more conventions and we wouldn't be here without your support so seriously thanks for checking us out. Also if you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about I'm in a band! We're called GS1.0 and we cover songs from anime and games we also write our own songs about them too so if you fancy some of that click here okay moving on here are some of the things I learned in 2015 number one live for the moment. This phrase is really overused, but it actually helped me shake off a lot of my worries this year. I tend to worry about the future a lot, but while it is important to consider your future and make sure you're not setting yourself up for trouble, it's never actually as scary as you think it's going to be. Living for the moment is taking things day by day and just focusing on what good you can do right now to make today a success. If you do that every day, you can't fail, and if something unexpected happens, well, just change today's schedule. Just chill about the future, it's gonna be fine. Number two, work hard, play hard. In 2015, I learned that it's absolutely essential to work hard and play hard almost in equal measure. It's really easy to accidentally procrastinate too much until it's too late to change the fact that you really didn't try hard enough. So start by taking things step by step and just focus on doing one really productive thing every day. That keeps your progress going and genuinely makes you feel really good that you've done your big important thing for the day. But don't forget to give yourself some rest because you can't work all the time otherwise you burn out. In between doing the important things, just chill out, watch a movie, play some games, do whatever you find fun and just enjoy yourself. It recharges your batteries and helps you feel relaxed and ready to start being productive again. But find the balance, yeah? Don't just go, oh well Terabyte told me to play games all day so I'm gonna do that. Find the balance. Number three, be nice. Some of you may have noticed that in November I released a video called Bitching It Needs To Stop. That was potentially a bit of a rant but I did mean what I said. Everyone complains too much and everyone bitches about everyone else including their friends and family. Cool your beans, you don't have to carry bullshit on your shoulders and shake it off on people everywhere you go. Just Dump it in the corner and talk about fluffy pandas and unicorns for change, I don't know. Just be nice, rant over. And number four, respect your elders. I know parents and relatives can be really annoying, but remember that they've sacrificed a massive chunk of their lives to raise you up and make sure you have a better future. And despite what they may or may not say, they do really love you, so don't forget to be grateful and say thanks for everything they've done. And if you really don't get on with your family, just make your friends your family. It doesn't matter if they're not related, it's who cares for you that counts. And with that, I'll see you guys later. Happy New Year and stuff!